Welcome back. You're still tuned into Inside Out on CNBC TV 18. Today's spotlight is on Precision Camshafts, which is a leading camshaft manufacturer. Company supplies all three types camshafts, that is cast iron, ductile iron, hybrid and assembled camshafts. Now, camshaft is a mechanical component of internal combustion engine. The volumes of the company are broken into machine camshafts, which is around 33% of total volumes, and rest is camshafts casting, which is the bigger pie at 67%. Company says they have 9% market share in global camshaft industry and 70% share in India's industry. They have many clients sharing few names here since it is a long list. The likes of Ford, Toyota, Maruti Suzuki, Escorts, Royal Enfield, Bosch, BMW, to name a few. As on FY23, the capacities of two segments, that is machine casting, stood at 79.2% and camshafts casting stood at 79.8%. They have eight facilities that include four foundries and four machine shops as well. Company also has global presence with two subsidiaries and two step-down subsidiaries and have presence in Netherlands and Germany. Now about the financials. FY21 saw weakness due to weakness in auto industry globally and higher commodity prices as well. From FY21 revenues of around 709 crore rupees, company improved it in FY22 and in FY23 saw decent growth at 1080 crore rupees. EBITDA, however, did not grow in FY23 after some improvement in FY22. After a loss in FY21, company did see a turnaround, but FY23 performance was flat at the bottom line level. They have decent exposure to export markets with 55% revenues coming in from there. The key raw materials used are resin coated sand, pig iron and MS scrap. So raw material pricing volatility could impact margins. The other risks include one of the Netherlands subsidiary continuously reporting losses which stood at 14 crores in FY23 versus 19 crore rupees in FY22. And since it is a cyclical business as it caters to automobile sector, demand and hence performance can be impacted. But they are focusing on the EV segment which could be a high margin business. They plan to set up EV plant at Solapur and also developing an electric powertrain tailored for sub 4 ton LCVs. Promoters hold 65.37% stake with no major holding coming in from institutions. The stock is trading at 38 times one year forward earnings. But we have run out of time on this edition of Inside Out. It's a goodbye from Nigel and I. But do write to us and tell us the companies you want us to discuss and you want to hear about. And we'll feature these on our show. Thanks a lot for watching.